Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the four major bank stocks to invest in US stock market. These stocks are Bank of America, JP Morgan's Chase Bank, Wells Fargo and US Bank. Before we move further, let's look at this crazy image just for a moment. I hope marriage investors are going to like the image. Bank of America was established in 1904, almost a century ago, and its dividend per share is 72 cents, dividend yield is 3.36%, and revenue is $103 billion per year. If you look at the chart, it is from 2016 to 2019, and revenue growth seems pretty consistent for Bank of America. The next big bank is J.P. Morgan's and Chase Bank. The bank was established in 1799 and currently it pays a dividend of $3.6 per stock. Dividend yield is 4.12% and revenue is $110 billion per annum. From the revenue growth perspective, from 2016 to 2019, its revenue is growing with a very consistent rate. In fact, according to Investor Place, JP Morgan is headed by one of the best management teams on Wall Street. This management team has worked very hard to generate steady revenue as well as profit growth, because of which the bank has outspaced every other major bank in the US. Wells Fargo Bank was established in 1852. Its dividend yield is roughly 7.59% and its revenue is $103 billion. And it has a very consistent revenue growth over the last four years. The price of the stock is well below than its 52 weeks high, which is $54 per share. In my opinion, Wells Fargo is one of the greatest stock to add in the retirement portfolio or in the dividend portfolio. This particular stock can be added even for decades for a consistent income. The last bank in this list is US Bank, established in 1863. The dividend yield is 5.29% and revenue is $27 billion. This is the only bank in, in this list which I do not own in my portfolio. From the revenue perspective, this bank is smallest among all four major banks. The safety of principle or the security of principle is one of the most important factors to consider in investing. By the way, Warren Buffett, he also owns a good amount of percentage in stocks for all of these banks most of these banks in fact all of these banks are founded 100 more than 100 years ago and they're still doing fine they survived all the major recessions market corrections so there is a good probability that all of these banks will survive in the upcoming years and our money is going to be safe if you look at this table all of these stocks are well below their intrinsic value and their 52 weeks high so their current share prices provide us the not only the discount but also the safety of principle the u.s bank has the lowest pe among all these four major banks which sounds like it is the best undervalued stock but if you take PEG into the consideration which is price to earning to the growth the Bank of America sounds like it's the best undervalued stock among all of these four and it is on the price basis this is also the cheapest stock in this list all of these four stocks they have their unique propositions and their unique qualities so for example Bank of America is the best undervalued stock but at the same time, JP Morgan has the best management team. US Bank has a very good return on the equity and as well as on the assets. So in my opinion, it would be best to have some portions of each of these four stocks and hold them for a very long term, maybe like five to seven years or so.